Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. Boy, sharp two punch combination by Kid Dynamite. Smashing left by Kid Dynamite. Oh, he's in bad shape here. He's stunned and he's wobbly. The only thing he has going for him is he's not a fighter that uses his legs anyway. You can't use him right now. He's a guy that likes to move his head. He's got to start doing that. Try to cement those feet down the best he can and get some head movement. Razor shot. What a big shot. Oh, and here comes the first challenge of his night. Down he goes. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. you got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Good fundamental work landing the one-two there. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Scored well with the left downstairs. Blocks away that head shot. Referee gives him a warning for headbutting. Oh, what an uppercut. Committing to the combo now, both land. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. The way these two are going at it early on, they're gonna break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Double jab, double jab. Smart punch right there. The uppercut worked. Kid Dynamite's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Kid Dynamite's last round, a big one. He scored the knockdown. Do you think he's now got the momentum where he can end this fight? Well, right now, I think he has the confidence where he thinks he can end the fight, and that's where it starts. It starts with anything. Any people out there doing anything, it starts with thinking, believing you it's can do it. Baby. But you got to keep working. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round? after the way we saw him go down in that last round. Well, it's up to his opponent. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He can get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he can kill a little of the clock to buy. Oh, veteran move, counter shot to the head. Nice work, the left hand to the head. And his nose has started to bleed. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to, because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them more balanced, stay effective. Kid Dynamite scoring with that right hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's nice work. Wow, what an uppercut. Close the jam. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Kid Dynamite. 
Dynamite's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Keep your hands up. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Solid. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again.